I'm very excited about your expansion. We know when we saw each other last about how great things were going in some of your markets. I remember talking about San Antonio, which is fantastic. But now, Houston, Dallas, how is this working? These are important markets. They really are. These markets are really tremendous. I think some of the best banking markets in the U.S. We've been in both of the markets, but we really needed to be much larger. And we decided in 2018 to undertake an expansion, which would basically double our footprint of physical locations over a two-year period. We, we finished that in 2020 and announced that we'd be doing the same thing, except we'll be tripling our number of locations in our Dallas market for an additional 30 locations there. Thing to remember about Houston is it's exceeded our pro formas. We were about 113% of our deposit pro forma. We're about 178% of our loan pro forma and about 130% of our household pro forma. So things have gone very well for us there. Now, we know that a lot of banks have gotten quite used to this. When they want to go to an area, they buy another bank. You have chosen an organic strategy. Why is that superior? You know, the reason that we decided to do it was because we had invested in our business enough so that we demonstrated we were growing customers. If our organic business had not been growing, the next page in anybody's playbook is, let's buy somebody, roll right. something up, and maybe it works out. But we had, we had made the investments, we had had the, the success, and so anytime you do acquisitions, particularly in a market where we already were, we risked diluting our brand, diluting our culture, and diluting our value proposition. And also with investing, as I call it, with our income statement, as opposed to our balance sheet, we allow the benefit of this strategy to go to our shareholders, who are current shareholders that have allowed us to grow into a company that can grow organically, as opposed to paying that to somebody else. And so we decided we'd run with that, and it's turned out to be successful for us. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.